Hey friends, it's Jason, your marketing professor, and I teach everyone from the student to the CEO the essentials of digital marketing in five minutes or less. Let's get started. Today, I'd like to share some ideas on how you can use ChatGPT, this is artificial intelligence, to help you do specific types of research to help you grow your business. Now, before we dive in, let me re-emphasize to you that artificial intelligence is still new and using it for research can give you ideas, but don't use it as the definitive cure-all to make a final decision. I tell my students this all the time. You know, you can use ChatGPT as a writing partner, McCartney and Lennon, okay? But don't use it to make all your decisions in a bubble. So, what can ChatGPT or another form of artificial intelligence do for you? Well, it can give you ideas on what your competition is doing in your particular space. So for example, we're gonna go back to the coffee example that I've used uh, quite often over the course of the past couple of days, is what specifically are other coffee shops doing to get customers early in the morning? You can ask ChatGPT that, and it'll rattle off some potential ideas that they're probably doing. And you can sit here and scratch your head and say, huh, well, that's a pretty interesting idea. So tell me more. And you can ask it for data like identifying who your target customer is. Now, here's the tricky part. We've talked about this before. Who is your target customer? And you can't say anybody who drinks coffee because that's spectacular, but this is gonna sound really creepy. I drink coffee, my wife drinks coffee, both my sons drink coffee, not my daughter but we all have different habits, we all have different takes, and we all have dis different tastes, and we all have different amounts of disposable income. So who is your perfect customer, the one you wanna spend 80% of your energy talking to? Okay, you can use ChatGPT to help you identify that. And here's the interesting part, if you've got a coffee shop, that data may change over the course of the day. Early in the morning, it might be the commuter, late in the afternoon, it might be the person who is uh, getting out of school that wants to get a frosty, frothy, whipped creamy espresso drink for them and a boyfriend. You can understand where we're going with this. ChatGPT can help you identify your target customer. It'll also help you analyze your audience, okay? Again, same example. Early in the morning, my target customer might be between the ages of 16 and 21, or late in the afternoon, 16 to 21, early in the morning, it might be that uh, 35 to 55 year old. How are you going to get the most out of those particular customers? And of course, it can give you ideas. What are some ideas that you can get to market to that person? One of the things Starbucks did really well is they realized that they're open in the morning and until the evening. So they tried to come up with ideas to get people to come in the afternoon. And that's when Frappuccino Happy Hour was born. Come in the afternoon from three till five o'clock for buy one, get one Frappuccinos. Those things are six, seven, eight dollars. Holy cow, the margin on those things is absolutely amazing. What a great idea to market people to a certain segment of people just in the afternoon. So my son and his significant other, well, they're like, hey, can we go? And my wife and I are like, sure, we'll drive you. And of course, we're going to get ourselves a cup of coffee. My daughter, she's nine. She wants a piece of lemon pound cake. Next thing you know, I'm out $25. Brilliant move, Starbucks. Good for you. So here's some ways you can use ChatGPT to do research to help you grow your business. If you like short lessons like this, do me a favor, click the like button and subscribe and let me know in the comment section if there's something you want me to cover. You can find me online at my website, themarketingprofessor.net and at all the social places and the new online community on Discord where we talk about marketing, we talk about digital marketing, we share ideas on how to grow your business and I have a whole bunch of resources I've collected over the years that you can just click on access and take as you will, uh, my gift to you. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'll talk to you next time. See ya.